Hi, I'm Jason Baker, Senior Vice President of Infrastructure and Regional Partnerships at the Silicon Valley Leadership Group. Today we're starting a new series, Transportation Conversation, Dialogues in Transit. And we're here at Deeradon Station to talk about transportation today and tomorrow with the perfect guest, Rod Deeradon Sr. And talking with him is SVLG's new Director of Infrastructure, Marley Smith. Take a listen. Hi Rod, I'm so excited we're here today. Nice to be here. Uh, so we're outside your station today, Deeradon Station. How does it feel? Oh, it's uh, wonderful to have this historic landmark still here. Yeah. So you're a big uh, fan of electrification. What should we electrify and by when? We should electrify everything. Everything in the world should be run on electricity rather than on fossil fuel. And the easiest way to do that, the easiest way to start, is with high-speed rail. And of course, we're building that high-speed rail system in the Central Valley now. We can either build freeways and airports or build high-speed rail. High-speed rail is clean, uh, preserves the environment, gets you there just as fast, and it costs one-third as much. We reduce that cost if we uh, create solar panels and uh, windmills near where we're going to be using them. And that's one of the objectives. Solar panels on everything that we build for high-speed rail. Here on station is expected to see more than 100,000 daily passengers with seven fixed rail services. Does this give you hope for the future of the region? Oh yes, and I think it's going to be much more than 100,000 passengers a day. More like uh, five or 600,000 passengers a day. And it's because we'll have the high-speed rail, you'll have three commuter rail lines, you have BART, you have the Amtrak, and seven bus lines, all connecting here. It will be the central interchange point for the valley, and it'll uh, allow this valley to function like a, a spoke and wheel uh, transportation system like Paris or, or uh, Toronto or the best systems in the world. So what changes to the transportation system do you recommend? Well, we need to um, move quickly away from gas-powered cars. And we have to shift as many of those cars, even if they're electric cars, and they will be in the future, we have to shift those cars and those riders into mass transportation. We have to, we have to make sure that we, we don't rely on roadway systems because we can never handle enough people on roads to make the long-term future of Silicon Valley secure. What we need to do now is just crash ahead, build the, the electrified transportation systems that the country is going to need, and let uh, California be an example of that. What do you see the state of transportation looking like in about 100 years? If we do it right, Silicon Valley will not only be here, but will be thriving. It'll be the heartbeat of the world's high technology. And to make that happen, we've got to allow very high volumes of people to move in and through our valley without using roads. Not unlike London or Paris or, or uh, New York uh, moves millions of people a day on mass transportation. But you can't do it on roads, any kind of roads. And most importantly, it all needs to be electrically powered. Marty, before we end this interview, I'd like to offer a note of thanks to the Silicon Valley Leadership Group. Back when David Fackard uh, founded the organization back in the 1970s, uh, he set up an organization that shepherded this valley uh, into the period of prosperity that we're seeing now. Uh, and, and the leadership group has just been the guide for uh, high quality thought and for planning for the long-term future, including the creation public funding uh, to, to uh, build BART and help with the high-speed rail system. And uh, the, the Valley owns a debt of thanks to Silicon Valley Leadership Group. Thank you. It's been great talking to you today. Thank you.